Good evening. London again is in the shadow of a suspected terror attack with a van ploughing into crowds near a mosque, killing one person and injuring eight others. The victims were Muslims, mown down after attending Ramadan prayers. Michael Best reports. He's the man who brought even more terror to London. And he's lucky to be surrounded by police as an angry crowd demands answers. Why did he do that? Why? Just minutes earlier, the 48-year-old driving a hired white van had a target. Worshippers leaving the Finsbury Park Mosque. He was screaming, he was screaming before that, he was saying, I'm going to kill all Muslims, I'm going to kill all Muslims. So he was going punches. Any thought it was merely an accident was ruled out immediately. There were people everywhere. Ramadan evening prayers had just finished. And then the van took its deadly detour. I think deliberate attack because um, is, this is the time the people, they get out of the mosque. You ran into people. I don't think it's something accident. I don't think it's an accident. I think he done it on purpose. The injured were left sprawled along the roadway, while witnesses quickly pounced on the driver. It's very quickly and calmly given over to the police and put into custody. I think restraint was commendable by members of the community who must have been incredibly shaken, incredibly scared and incredibly angry. This is London on edge, another police cordon in the middle of the night. The scene of the incident is just down that street and out here, large crowds of people, uncertain people, demanding answers. With smartphones, bystanders filmed the chaos and offered their own thoughts. This is, this is worse than a terrorist attack, I think. This is a hate crime. Whatever it was, the carnage and the fallout will test a city and country trying to stay united after enduring so much in recent weeks. Now I think it's the community starting to split. We are here to do our religion, to pray like everybody. It's scary. We are not safe anymore. Initially, the authorities, including the besieged Prime Minister Theresa May, called it a terrible incident. If this was someone else, someone like someone who's Muslim done it, it would have been all over the use as a terrorist attack. By morning, police upgraded their assessment. This is being treated as a terrorist attack and the Counter-Terrorism Command is investigating. While Muslim leaders declared it the most violent manifestation of Islamophobia in Britain in recent months. Terror, revenge or a madman with a van. Establishing the truth will be a priority here, and so too will be healing the divisions in English society. And Europe correspondent Michael Best is in Finsbury Park tonight. Michael, what's the latest there? Well, Peter, Theresa May will soon chair an emergency meeting of the British government as a response to this attack. And here on the streets of North London, well, there's still a large police presence, a large police cordon as police investigate what exactly happened here. Now, there aren't just extra officers here, but right across London, particularly outside mosques for Ramadan. And Muslim leaders have also taken the step of advising their worshippers to be vigilant. It's a horrible step that they've taken from an attack that many here believe was targeted. Michael Best reporting. Good evening. At least one person is dead after a van ploughed into a crowd of pedestrians in what appears to be a revenge attack outside a London mosque. British police say it was an act of terror. The driver apparently laughed while being arrested and two other people are tonight on the run. In police custody but surrounded by an angry mob. <laughs> this man is jeered. Why did he do that? People on this street held the 48-year-old down until police arrived. Everyone back up! Witnesses say he is a killer. He drove on the pavement, coming straight towards all the Muslims. I was saying, I'm going to kill all Muslims, I'm going to kill all Muslims. And then he was saying, oh, kill me, kill me. I said, we're not going to kill you. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? He wouldn't say anything. It's okay, it's okay. Distressing pictures of the aftermath showed dozens hurt. Is he OK? I keep, keep talking to my man. Eight people needed hospital treatment. I don't know why they're doing this. I'm upset and sorry. I'm... Finsbury Park is in North London. The first calls for help there were at 12.15 a.m. to the road between the train station and the mosque. Police were already in the area and responded instantly. The Counter-Terrorism Command is now in charge of the investigation. The van was quickly searched. Stop filming and get out of the corner. And remains behind police tape as forensics officers walk up and down another London street of terror. The attack unfolded whilst a man was already receiving first aid from public at the scene. And sadly, that man has died. 
Locals here are angry it took police hours to declare this incident a terror attack. They say it's because Muslims were targeted. This community is worried they're being blamed for previous attacks at the hands of extremists. Tell him so it was a white attacker, yes. it was a terrorist, tell him. Of course it's a terrorist attack. He's a terrorist, yeah? It's a terrorist attack. He wasn't ill, no? No, he was not ill. No, he and he was, was not drunk. He was a white he terrorist. Wasn't drunk. Right now, the accused is in hospital, receiving a mental health check. Police say he will be charged, but with what, it's too early to say. As again, people grieve or fight for life over a once unthinkable crime that's happened again. In London, Kath Turner, 7 News.